it's true that each fingerprint is unique, but not as a rule because of any one outstanding characteristic. Rather, it's the way in which those characteristics are arranged that gives each print its exclusive mark. Take the scene of crime mark from our T-shirt bandit. It's a bit smudged, but the experts tell me it's a right thumbprint with a loop and between some 23 and 28 ridges, these lines here. But if I ask the Scotland Yard computer to search its bank of some three million prints for that sort of right thumbprint, well, I could end up with a list of some 30,000 possibilities. With the best will in the world, Scotland Yard doesn't have the time or manpower to compare the thumbprints of all these thousands of people against that of a T-shirt forger. But if they're lucky, they might have other clues to help them shorten that list of suspects. And let's say, for the sake of argument, that leaves them with a couple of hundred. Now, that's still a couple of hundred prints that need to be compared individually by eye against the scene of crime print to find a true match. And that can take a long time. But now there's a quicker way. Scotland Yard's fingerprint collection is being stored in a new computer which Home Office scientists have programmed to recognise fingerprints. To file a print, the computer's camera scans it, makes a high contrast image of the print and then finds the unique points of interest, where the ridges end or merge. It notes the position of these and counts the ridges in between them. So each print is logged as a map in the computer's memory. All that information is recorded on computer disk. And just three of these hold the names of the 60,000 London criminals that Scotland Yard describes as active. So to find your man, place your scene of crime print under the camera. And the computer then locates points of interest in the clear areas of the print. And it then retrieves from its memory other prints with points of interest in similar places. And at the top of the list is the print with the best match. OK, let's see who it is. Oh, I'd never have thought that.